Hey, what's up guys? Johnny here back with another Call of Duty Mobile Zombies video. Today I want to talk speedruns. Why speedrunning in Cut Mobile Zombies? For a few reasons. First of all, there's a leaderboard. I didn't know, I just discovered yesterday. Uh, there's a leaderboard for time completed in Zombies Raids. And second reason is you want to do as fast as possible when you do raids because you need to do three every day if you want to get max rewards. You don't want to spend two hours just to do your three raids. So Call of Duty Mobile Zombies have two different raids. You have the easy and the hardcore. And I want to do hardcore because the rewards are better. You can get purple shards. In normal raids, you can only get blue shards. Yesterday on stream, I did my three solo hardcore raids and I had a pretty decent run with a fast boss kill, but I didn't get that lucky. I didn't get the ray gun. And then I found the leaderboard and my time, my best time is 22 minutes. So you can definitely go solo hardcore under 20 minutes if you try. So after I realized that, I decided to try some speed runs and try to see what we can do to improve our times. I really think you can do under 20 consistently because on my very first attempt i improved my time i did like 21 something now on that 21 minutes run a lot of things went wrong so i'm gonna look at the run with you and give you guys some tips to try to go and do better so this is my first attempt i said i'll try to go fast i try to kill stuff fast and right off the bat i start repairing windows for points and i realized if you repair windows the zombies will not enter so i'm on my second attempt I did not repair the boards at the start. I just shoot the zombies straight up. And uh, on my second attempt also, I didn't buy the quick revive because I'm thinking if you're going to speed run, uh, you're probably not going to die four times. If you die four, four times in a game, uh, something went really, really wrong, right? So uh, you can do the first two runs just shooting the zombies real quick under two minutes. And on my second attempt, I did like a minute and a half for the first two runs when I didn't repair the windows. Now round three, you can also save some time. Uh, here I decided to shoot a lot of zombies because usually what I do on round three is I try to waste all my pistol ammo to get maximum points. But if you're gonna do a speed run, I don't think it's the way to go. Instead of wasting all my pistol ammo, I should have went right downstairs and go straight for the box. Uh, right off the bat, grab a weapon and then it's search for the cogwheels. And that's another... A uh, place where you're gonna gain or lose precious time. It took me forever to find the cogwheels. Uh, they're not always in the same place and sometimes you have to look for them and I got a bit unlucky on that one. So you can save a lot of time if you get the cogwheels fast and then get some weapons and kill the zombies. Now another thing here is I didn't get lucky with the box. I got the auto shotgun. Of course if you get lucky and you get a great weapon off the bat, if you get the ray gun really really early it's gonna save you so much time in the whole run. But anyways, at the end of round three, I think it's the time to leave a zombie alive and repair and go do the Easter egg if you're gonna do the Easter egg run. And then that's another question. Which bus is the easiest? Is it Abomination or Juboko? Leave a comment below, but you should go for the easier boss. Now, one more thing here is the perks. If you get the good perks early in the basement, it's gonna save you a lot of time because you won't have to go and look around and open doors to find your good perks. So if you can get double tap and juggernaut really early, it's gonna help you. Another thing here is the order. I just realized uh, there's an order in which you have to shoot the plants. And when you shoot a plant, you have to hear a sound. If you hear a sound, it means you got the right one. If you don't hear a sound, you have to look for another plant. So there's four plants to shoot in the right order. So if you get the order super quick, you're probably going to save like 30 seconds and then you're done with the Easter egg. Hopefully you got the juggernaut or the double tap early. Here I make a quick decision. I said, I'm going to go and buy the double tap because I won't have to come back later. Double tap will help you kill the boss faster. Definitely. You kind of need the double tap. Uh, it deals a lot of damage faster. Now before starting round four, I decide to go and get a second weapon. I need an auto weapon to get round four easy and the dogs and then with the rest of my points i try to go and grab some buffs and i go straight for the damage at the start and, and i upgrade it so i didn't go for the hp uh, at the start i just want to go straight up damage because it's what's going to make a difference in clearing the round faster so you see already at the start of round four i already wasted six minutes of my run 
and it was not a great run. I wasted a lot of time, probably 10, 20 seconds on the first two rounds because I repaired the boards. I probably waste 10, 20 seconds looking for the parts because I didn't get them early. Um, so yeah, probably you can do five minutes the first three rounds, do the Easter egg, and then you're going to start clearing some rounds. You need to clear some rounds, uh, try to kill the zombies fast. And that's why I say if you have Ray Gun early, it's just going to make a huge, huge difference. You let them spawn, you shoot the pack, they all die at the same time. So yeah, round four is not too bad, but round six, seven, eight, you cannot do with an M4. You're going to need better weapons. Now, end of round four, I decided to go upgrade my buffs. I want extra HP because I still don't have Juggernaut and it's going to be the dogs. If I die, I waste a lot of time. Then I upgrade my damage and with the rest of my points, I kill the zombie and I spin the mystery box one more time trying to get lucky. Don't want to do the dogs with the M4. But I got really lucky here. I got the HG40 Lava. It is going to help you clear the, the rounds faster. This weapon is really, really, really good in zombies but then it's pay to win. You have to buy it in crates for now. So dogfight, it's gonna give you max ammo and you wanna clear round six, seven and rack up some points. Now what I did is I cleared round five, six, seven, eight without wasting any time in between rounds. And then I decided to go and check for the perks at the end of round eight. I didn't get anything good. It was just the, the speed cola. So I still don't have Juggernaut here. Uh, all I have is the double tap, but it's pretty good. It's gonna help. Uh, dealing with zombies faster but i still don't have juggernaut and i still don't have the stamina uh stamina up is going to be good for the boss fight if you can run faster uh it's going to help you avoid uh, being in trouble now you can see end of round nine and i'm at under 12 minutes the problem here is i didn't find juggernaut i had to go and open all the doors the juggernaut was the last door i opened so i wasted a lot of time i did get the stamina up here but Juggernaut took me a while to find. So now you see I got Juggernaut and my timer is at 27 minutes flush pretty much. So 13 minutes run and I finally have my perk. Now rest of the game is clear the final rounds as fast as possible. Took me 19 minutes because I don't have the ray gun. Would have been probably a bit faster. A lot of things could have been better in this run. But yeah, almost 20 minutes to get to the boss fight. Uh, the boss fight was pretty quick. But yeah. A lot of things could have gone better. First of all, would have been good to find the cogwheels better, the repair kits. Would have been really, really nice to have a ray gun early. Uh, would have also been nice to not waste so much time trying to find the good perks. If you get them early in the basement, it's going to save you a lot of time. So what I did before the boss fight is I just spent all my money trying to max out my perks. So I got level 5, 6, 5 perks and then it's random. If you get lucky and you get upgraded damage perks, uh, is gonna help you with the boss fight now the boss fight took me just over a minute a minute and three seconds But I died I got unlucky and I died once in the run uh, So yeah, you can do it without dying uh, It's all RNG sometimes and a bit of luck then you get your rewards another tank Dempsey shard I'm close to 20 shards right now and then you see my time 21 minutes 36 and you got the leaderboard a squad did it in 12 minutes, but then uh, I don't know if it's hardcore. Maybe they did the normal raid as a squad. Uh, normal raid is only eight rounds, so it would make a lot of sense. I would like to have separate leaderboards for hardcore and normal. It would also be nice to have leaderboards for solo and squads. So if we had a solo hardcore leaderboard, it would be so cool to actually have an idea how fast you can complete it. But like I said, it was my first like speed attempt. And I did 21 minutes and I did get a lot of bad luck with the box, with the cogwheels. I died at the boss, also I didn't find my perks. So definitely you guys can do it under 20 minutes. So guys, if you attempt some speed runs on solo hardcore, please post your times below. Not for bragging, but I wanna have an idea how fast you can do it if you really try. I will definitely try to improve my scores in the next couple of days. If you have some tips to improve the strategy, please post below also. And maybe I'll make another video later with improved strategy. So that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching. I will be back later. Until then, watch my other stuff. Take care.